Hello, good evening once more people. This is your boy Eduardo Agbo and welcome to my latest tutorial and on today's tutorial we're going to see how we could write a group of words or letters um, into our structure. Now you will know this car, we have drawn it together so um, without much I do, we are just going to take a step which involves the realization of this same car to work with. Now what we are going to do is this. Now what we are going to do next is very important so I'm just going to select this surface and here. Now we want to write um, let's say will, uh, will you marry me something like that here so what we need to do is we're going to define the center line and here there are certain things that we need to understand when working with this because for example if I start here up to this level okay I think it's okay now this length is going to be the length of maximum length of the words that I'm capable of writing so now for me having this notion already what I'm going to do is I'm going to define this length so um, here uh, I see it's 7.2 something I'm going to say 9 I want it to be 9 and the same thing here I'm going to say I want it to be 9 so okay so from here I have to wait that until it comes out. I'm going to say I want it to be nine. So now I've well defined it to be nine. So means that the maximum that I can have here is this distance from here to here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this uh, where I see this letter that is sketch text, and I'm going to click on this line because I want it to be horizontal. So I'm going to write the text that I want to write here. So let's say will um hue so i'm going to give some space you marry me um something of that sort now if one also put the exclamation sign you are going to put it so that's what we have here um if you want us to change the font so you want to change the font you're just going to um this over here below use document font so you just click you go to font and there at font you have the possibility to change the style of the writing the size of the letters so everything that you want to do you're going to have the possibility to do here so let's come here you know if you um so this is the space and let's say six i would like to take it to to eight so if you look at it now it's kind of big so we can change all that so many things so we are just going to click on uh, accept and go to extruded bars bossage or we can use also that for surface but here this is is good because it will cover all the surface no space between the letters so uh without any much i do so we're going to update this so instead of leaving it at 10 i'm going to leave this at 5 so you can see the difference clearly so at 5 and i'm going to do this i'm going to validate this um we are going to see what's going to happen next now after everything has been done you're going to discover something so when you turn this you're going to see that it has been well printed there will you marry me with the question sign so that is how we write um on the surface now depending on the different things that we want to do for example we, we might not want to write something that is horizontal but we might want to write something that is let's say that um has a circular form so all you need to do is either use a circle to do that so you just go to sketch Either use a circle to do that, or you use, uh, for example, you use uh, the splint. So I'm just going to take a, an, an example with the circle. Now to do this with the circle, to do this with the circle, you just need to select that surface. You go, you get your circle, and let's say you come here, and let's say you give us that um, that circle of yours. So this is what we have. So I'm just going to validate this, and I'm going to go to let's say i want to write something so yeah let's say will you marry me so let's give a, a, an answer to that question say let's say i do i i do uh let's validate this and let's do the same work that we did and see how it goes so at five yes i think five is okay um uh, okay no problem sorry now so now from here you can discover something 
that if you click here and you have your same I do and this is how it's going to come out so if you write it's going to come out in the circular part and now if you want it to come out uh, as it like a spleen so let's say you, you have another form in mind so let's say something like this or uh, let's use spleen to do this so it's better to illustrate it so let's say uh, we want something better like this something like uh, something like this of this form that is of this form of this form so let's say you want to write here following this form like this so so you just make it the same way and when, on when you want to draw you just select either this this or this so it's the same way that is how we we can write text or a group of words on our structure or on our surface now we are going to go to how to choose color and parameter um, to change certain things so what we can do also is this we can go to sketch so you can discover that this um, drawing has so many features so you just go to sketch and what we're going to do is you are going to take sketch 27 so this happens to be sketch 27 so i'm going to work on it so um, sketch this sketch 27 that i've chosen and so we are just going to go there right click uh okay so we are going to take extrude so this we are going to go to color so we are just going to click that one to do that for just the extrude 28 so we are going to come over here and this is where we have the possibility of getting all the colors that we want so what we are going to do is we are just going to do this now um, let's say I we want this material to be let's say let's say um this so something like this and all we need to do is just click and everything will be okay so after that we just click here and we check this out so you're going to say will you marry me something is going to come out of this form now we discover that all these holes are empty so we are going to fill them so to fill this up uh, we just need to use the force so this function called surface and surface is going to do that for us now surface at surface we're going to take fill surface but since we work with this so we just leave the sketch so after leaving the sketch we have our fill surface so we just take fill surface at fill surface now we could choose the end of the surface that we want to fill so just come over here and let's say one here the same here um the same here and the same here automatically the surface is going to be filled so now if you observe where well, you're going to see something that is this the boundary that's going to be created so you're just going to validate this so if you discover that it has no difference between this and this so i'm just going to right click it so i'm going to go to materials and i want to change just that material that is there so since we already have good materials that are proposed here so let's say we need a glass that's going to enter there so let's say we are going to take a glass normally it's a glass that belongs there so let's look very well uh, let's say okay we're going to take the glass so we're going to take this glass that's going to reflect in now so that uh, taking this glass so uh, is a good idea we have a good okay let's take green so green is okay by me so we take green so discover that this is what we are going to have so that is how we cover your surface with any material we want and also that is how we can write any word or any text on a structure so thank you once again this is your boy we got run song please like the video subscribe and stay blessed until next time